Welcome to the May edition of The Link. All pennant now behind us and winter fast approaching, the team have been busy completing the 13th bunker works and course prep. Vegetation work to the left of the 13th fairway has begun and the team will chip away at this area over the coming month. We will also look at planting out the islands on the right hand side of the 9th tee carry as well as the slope going up to the back tee on the 16th. These areas will both be planted out with cushion bush and coria. So one of the areas that we're going to be working on over the coming weeks um, will be this area just to the left um, of the 13th drive. Uh, so what's happened here, we've got a lot of polygala and bone seed in the area as well, as well as a lot of um, broken and fallen tea tree. Um, so we're going to go through here, thin it out. Um, we'll still have some tea tree through there, but we're going to really try and encourage um, some of the native plants that have been smothered by the tea tree over the years. So in a couple of weeks time, this should be all cleared out um, and cleaned up and we'll look to um, yeah, really promote the, the new growth of the vegetation. Thank you to all members who took part in the recent members survey. It's great to get your feedback on the course so we can make any improvements. One of the topics that came up on the survey was the roughs. A little about the roughs. So during construction, fine fescue roughs were sown for a good contrast between the cooch fairways and the fine fescue roughs. It was identified early days with the lack of water, the roughs would take longer to mature than first thought, which is still the case today. We have seen roughs dry out considerably during the warmer months due to the stress of the heat and also the amount of traffic the course receives. The team are constantly seeding new areas of roughs throughout the autumn and winter to promote the fescue grass. We identified that we have quite a bit of common cooch in the roughs which we are trying to promote during the warmer months. This will take time though as basically the cooch has to grow itself with very little irrigation. This past summer we have seen the roughs hold on much better and a lot of the cooch grass intermingle with the fine fescue grasses. A great example is to the right of the 15th fairway. This area was once very bare and ordinary, but with increased fertilizer and another summer, the cooch has now covered about 80% of this rough. Our end result will be a mix of fine fescue and cooch in the roughs. One of the recently completed works um, that most of you would have seen was the um, filling in and recontouring of the drive bunker down the left of the 13th. So what we did here, we, we pulled all the existing bunker sand out, which there wasn't a hell of a lot left because it had already been um, blown out for us. Um, and we scraped that up to the, to the bunker that you can see in the distance there. And then we re-contoured re the area. Um, we brought in some, some turf and laid that um, to provide the, the look that we have now. So up on the left, that'll be um, rough with a little bit of vegetation up at the left edge of the bunker. Um, and then we're, we'll see how the turf goes. We may look at increasing the fairway out there so it goes halfway through the swale um, and then comes up around the bunker. So yeah, we'll just see how that goes once the turf grows in, um, but that's the, the project that took place um, a couple of weeks ago.